Oh ho ho ho! Friends! Romans! Countrymen! I'm not sure where I'm going with that. <laughs> Welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla! And it has been a while. Well, <laughs> it's been a while for me. It's probably not been more than a couple of days for you, to be honest, because I recorded a bunch of material before I... Well, I didn't really go on holiday before family came to visit and uh, working on a little cactus farm here, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to be diverted all the way through this episode. Here's my cactus farm. Doing pretty well. How's yours doing? Um, yeah, recorded a bunch of videos before family went away, and this is kind of my first time back on the server in over a month. Um, except for recording the little That Doggy in the Window video that I did a couple of days ago, which was really fun. It was good, and good to finally put a bone in the mouth of Dog Mountain. Um, if you're not sure what the deal is with Dog Mountain, then you probably don't watch Ovi Raptors videos, in which case, what are you doing? You should do that. He's been on the server longer than most of us, and um, yeah, every time he goes to Circle Square, he like waves at Dog Mountain. It's kind of awesome. So yeah, figured I would spruce that bit up. I have been busy today. It's been great getting back on the server. Um, everyone's done a bunch of stuff, which I really need to go and catch up on. So we might get around to that today, but, I have an important task, and it is for that task that I have built this thing over here, um, which you might have caught a glimpse of already, and I am absolutely thrilled with the way this has turned out. This wonderful structure, look at that, look at the detail, the leaves coming off the top, and everything inside, oh, look at it. This is going to be my mushroom barn. Um, at least for now, this is where I'm going to be housing some mushrooms, because I found a mushroom island. I was not the first there. Um, it looks like DDM, when he was on the server, has pretty much done the same thing I did, which was go to, out to the town of Apple to pretty much where the faraway hub is in the nether, and then come back to spawn in a straight line. He found the ice plains biome before I did, and a couple of hundred blocks south of that there is a massive, and I mean huge, mushroom island. Um, and it's just tons of mushrooms everywhere. Oh, it's heaven for me. Um, so I'm going to bring a couple of those back here. I'm going to start a little mushroom colony at my base, and then I have plans for them. But I'm just so happy with this. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to show you guys around, because look at the hay bales, and it's got like a little storage chest for wheat from this massive wheat field that I've had here, but just have had no real purpose for, because I don't use bread all that much, and I haven't been using wheat from other stuff. Do I still have haste on? I still do have haste. Um, <laughs> I discovered, for some reason, like, I was walking around here and the ambient noise of lava was coming up from somewhere and it was driving me absolutely nuts. I dug down here and not 10 blocks down there was a massive lava lake that I'd never even discovered before but I was like I can't just be hanging out with my mushroom cows and then suddenly there's all this lava noise it's just gonna freak me out I'm gonna be worried that I'm gonna get set on fire or something like that so let me change this beacon back I had some iron yeah I do have some iron in here let's just throw a bunch of sticks in why not um I want to change this back to speed and regen because that's usually what I like to have when I'm hanging out around here. Um, <laughs> still haven't done a huge amount re kind of covering Mount Mushmore, but there's a little bit more stuff in there which you will see shortly. But yeah, um, <laughs> just going to switch out the beacon and we'll be right back giving you a tour of this. And we're back, <laughs> and it's a new day. And look at this foliage inside. I'm kind of happy with the way this looks. It's meant to look kind of ramshackle, I guess. <laughs> I love that word, um, ramshackle. It's it's meant to look a little bit dilapidated and overgrown, like it's been here a while, which is kind of funny because it's the most recent thing I've built. But yeah, I wanted to make the roof look all overgrown and patchy. And the idea is that mushroom blocks, I, I built the entire roof out of mushroom and just went, that's just way too overwhelming because it's huge. Um, it's all right for little kind of houses like that, but if you use too much of it in one go, it definitely gets a lot to look at because it's such a bright block. So I figured use that like it's an insulation block and then wrap that in wood, but the wood's kind of patchy, has been damaged in like, I don't know, storms or whatever, has faded away a little bit. Um, so in places there's just kind of bits of mushroom peeking out, there's some bits that are a bit more exposed, and then it started to be slightly reclaimed by nature, and there's all these bushes and stuff growing over the top of it. Uh, a couple of jack-o'-lanterns up here for light, because a couple of creepers have spawned and dropped on my head and nearly blown up the entire thing. Um, but yeah, really happy with how this turned out. It's super fun, 
got lots of nice little details in here. A couple of hidden water blocks underneath the pillars so I can grow some wheat around it as well. Um, and I've been able to grow a few mushrooms, which is kind of nice. Um, this stuff is mainly just to make the mushrooms feel a little bit at home. Um, there's some of the mycelium um, podzol. I really, really hesitant to use podzol because I only have like nine or ten blocks of it. It's the stuff Biran gave me from Vanilla Day. Um, but yeah, the, you know, when whenever you see like cows in a farm, there's always this kind of muddy patch where you can tell they all just go and hang out and wallow and scuffle around and probably drink from water troughs or something. And there's always just this one really damp and muddy area of their field and and that's what that's meant to be with the uh, the brown mushroom blocks I've seen this on detail craft which is a subreddit I go on um, using mushroom blocks to kind of mix in with mud because they've got quite a muddy color and it almost looks like they've got footprints or hoof prints or something in so I figure I would mix a few of those in and it has not disappointed I really like that detail I think it's pretty cool so Without further ado, well, <laughs> with a bit of ado actually, because I need to go and drop off some stuff and make some leads, but we are going to find ourselves, I better use my bridge, <laughs> the PVC put it here, I'd better use it, um, we're going to go and find ourselves some mushroom cows. Um, I've done a little bit more work in here, not a huge amount, redstone mechanism is still one of my favourite things that I've ever done. Um, I put up a few banners. I'm probably going to prettify this whole area a little bit more. Maybe put some quartz detailing around the walls because right now, even with the acacia wood, it's still got a little bit of the stone floor in. It's just not quite exactly how I want it. But the ceiling, I'm so proud of the detail. There's a, a, a similar looking ceiling up there, but with all the stairs and everything, this took a little while to figure out the pattern that I wanted. It's still not quite perfect around the edges, but yeah, I'm I'm super happy with how the ceiling turned out at least in here we've got our little minecart slime block elevator oh yes oh yes i love using that thing every time it just makes me super happy um right what do i need to drop off cactus we've got some of that um and yeah this is my storage area um let's step back and give you guys a proper look at this because i just waltzed in here without even mentioning it this is a big old storage area, which I've wanted to do for a while. Um, I mentioned it in the last video, and yeah, it's definitely been long overdue. Um, this I actually <laughs> invented before I found it uh, posted on, on Reddit. I posted a, a thing on Detailcraft about this, and then suddenly B00 is doing it in his videos, and I went, damn, I thought I was going to be the first one to, to do that, but... Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't copy him. I I actually found this out completely on my own. These armor stands have the glass blocks pushed down onto them from the top using pistons, um, and it almost almost covers the whole thing, but not quite. There's just a little bit kind of poking out from the sleeves here and there. But sticking carpets on them uh, is something that another guy on Detail Craft did, and it looks really cool. It makes it look like it's kind of the top of a a tank or a kind of aquarium, almost something like that. And this one, I don't know what I'm going to put on here yet. We will see. Um, but yeah, I've pretty much got this worked out now. I know where everything goes. There's a couple of things that I don't actually store here. I still store them in other places, like potion ingredients still go with my potion brewing set up down by the zombie spawner. Um, and I think that's pretty much all that's stored elsewhere still. Oh, and, and mob drops with, like, armor and stuff. Um, I still have those down in the... the storage mushroom house i don't really know what to do with those i'm rambling now what do i need string and slime for leads that's what i need because i'm going to be bringing back i'm not actually wholly sure how many things you can carry with a lead at once you know what i mean carry i mean um how many th how many things you can lead <laughs> with a lead at once well i can bring eight with us i think that'll be a decent go. Um, I don't know if that's going to be anywhere near the maximum or if it's not going to let us drag that many, but um, we will find out. We'll find out. This is the back entrance. There's a little kind of bedroom space up here, which I haven't really been using much because I want to decorate it some more. And um, <laughs> I really need to work on this exit because while it's cool to have the hidden entrance up here, that definitely keeps the mobs out. Um, the problem with having levers is that you can't use one or the other. You have to use, well, you have to use one or the other, I mean, because if you try and pull the lever in there whilst this lever is engaged, that doesn't move at all. <laughs> so I pretty much have to leave, enter and exit the way I came each time. Um, so I'm rambling because I'm, 
a little bit apprehensive about how this is going to go, but let's do it. Let's bring back some mushrooms. Um, my nether tunnel is still incomplete. I'm going to show you guys anyway because I don't travel through the nether on camera that much, so may as well do that here. Um, I want more sea lanterns, and Jefferson and I have plans to invade an ocean monument, which I found on the way back from the Mushroom Island, but uh, yeah, that will have to wait for another video because I need to hook up with Jefferson for that. Now, DDM established a portal to... It's not that way, it's through the far away section. He established a portal to the, uh, the Mushroom Island f quite a while ago, it seems like, because um, that seemed to be where he was getting all his mycelium, and instead of growing it sustainably at his base, he seemed to have just been carving out huge sections of the island, which is fine, you know, it's it's <laughs> it's a big place, and, you know, you can always re-landscape it later, it's not like it's doing a huge amount of damage. Um, but yeah, I kind of like keeping stuff as it is, working with the natural landscape, and, and having mycelium generated at my base right now, and it's not like I'm doing a huge amount with it anyway, but yeah, it's going to be... Uh, fun to come out here. I might come out here a couple more times as well, just, uh, I don't know, there might be some kind of historic uh, Democratic Republic of Mushroom thing we can do. That's the Mesa biome. This really is a long way out, <laughs> but uh, thankfully traveling through the nether isn't too bad. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of things that I might do on the end of this video. I'm not sure quite how long this video is going to run, but uh, B-Ran has put together a minion training course at his base recently, so I could potentially become an official B Corp minion. Um, I think Kane has already done that. That's not the way to it. I think it's this one here. Um, but that might be what I do with that last armor stand in the storage area, is get myself a B Corp uniform and, uh, and become a minion. And here it is. And just look at the size of this place. Um, if you've watched DDM's videos, you might have seen this on camera before. He's got an extra portal here. I'm not sure what that's about. It's double thickness portal, but maybe that's him trying to bring mushroom cows back himself. But look at them. They're just adorable. The mushrooms growing on them, the big soulless eyes are oh, bless. Right, let's see how many of these chaps we can lead back to our new home. Oh. Okay, that's at least two. Okay, let's shoot for three. I have no idea if leads are going to work through the portals as well. This is all new territory to me. <laughs> and see, this is where he's been clearing out all the mycelium. Um, three. We'll go you. You as well. Why not? I better hope I'm not disconnecting all these leads by running too fast. I think I might have lost one of them that way. Um... I don't see a lead dropped on the ground. Oh, there it is. There it is. Right. Come back. Come back. Because, yeah, once I get a few of them at my base, I can just breed them. So <laughs> that's not too much of a problem. But hopefully it will be possible to lead them all up this... Yeah, here they come. Here they come. Oh, no. Now they're dangling. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. I'm already doing them some damage. Should have brought some wheat with us or something instead. That would have been better. Oh, Oh, this isn't... This is not going well. <laughs> oh dear, we've got mushroom beef now. We've got beef. They've probably got beef with me. <laughs> Sorry, friends, I did not mean to dangle you. Oh dear. Come on, come on. Am I... Is it dragging them through that block? Is that the problem here? Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Okay. Abandoned leads. Abandoned leads. <laughs> Let's try taking just one. Let's try with just one. We might have to build a bigger staircase here. DDM has not left these guys a lot of room to manoeuvre. Come on, friend. This way. Is that better? Is that going to help you? Yeah, that's what we need. Bigger staircases. Okay. <laughs> right, well. Let's have you going through then. Yeah, right. Okay, I reckon I could probably gather a couple of these like this. And the other fun thing about Mushroom Island is that they're not going to spawn mobs, so I can work at night pretty easily, I think. All right, let's widen this staircase out. Hopefully that should be enough for them to get up here. We'll take out that torch as well. Cool, okay. Well, 
This hasn't worked out quite as I planned, but hopefully we'll be able to get a few. I reckon it's probably easier to do them one at a time like this, and then I can just push them through the portal and they'll, they'll all be there on the other side when we get back to the nether, so. Come on, you. Whoa, and there they are. Let's hope we can lead them all up before any of them slip back through the portal. Did we lose one? Oh, no, he's still there. Come on. Come on, you. Come on. Right. Now, this is going to be a long trip back, so I'll, <laughs> I'll cut this part out. But it seems to be going pretty well. I think we should be able to lead them back through the nether to my portal. And with any luck, we should establish ourselves a lovely colony of mushrooms there. Now this is something I didn't anticipate, which is the lava in this section, so don't come through yet, don't come through yet, I'm trying to block this off so you guys don't fall and cook. Uh, should just about manage this, no, no. Well, there were more of you a minute ago. Hey, that's the North Pole. You don't want to go that way. Right, I'll have to come back for the one I've lost, but two is good enough for now. Let's bring you guys along. <laughs> it's a little bit slippy through here. Watch your step. Welcome to your new home. There's a thumbnail. <laughs> Come on down. You guys can come over here into paddock number one. <laughs> oh, no, we've lost one. Stay there, stay there. Come on round, buddy. In you come. Come on, come on. Oh, they just don't like being kept in here, do they? <laughs> I know, I know, you're used to all kinds of lovely places. How did I tie him up over there? <laughs> I don't think I intended to do that. But that will do for now. Come on. Come on round. You'll get used to this. You'll love it. See? Bit of mycelium. Can feel nice at home. There we go. Let's tie you up over here. <sighs> <laughs> this isn't working out quite how I expected, but I can't just leave them on leads because the leads break when the chunks unload and that's been a bug for a while and I don't think they're going to be able to fix it for a little while. So I'm afraid you guys are going to have to get in here. There we go. Ace and untie you, and there we go. I think I've somehow ended up with two more leads than I started with. <laughs> I don't know how that's happened, but it seems to have. Welcome to your new home, guys. Let's breed them now. <laughs> I think that's probably the best thing to do. You guys like wheat, right? Yeah, you guys love wheat. Oh, look at that. That is adorable. Doesn't even have any mushrooms yet. Oh, so cute. Little horns. This is going to be the start of a whole new venture. 
in the Democratic Republic of Mushroom, and I'm not going to tell you all the details yet because I need a whole lot more of these guys and probably some name tags, and then I need to make a building. But for now, uh, <laughs> that pretty much wraps it up for the Mushrooms, and I think I'll go and check out Biran's minion training course next. I've encountered a problem <laughs> because a couple of the new mushroom cows I brought through have <laughs> gotten stuck on the side of here so I figure what I will probably do is put down some slime blocks <laughs> and pull them over the side with the lead and hope they don't bounce too far. <laughs> I figured I may as well catch this on camera because it's probably going to be hilarious. <laughs> We'll welcome these guys to the Democratic Republic of Mushroom with a giant bouncy pad. <laughs> but I think it's likely to limit the amount of fall damage they will take, so here goes nothing. <laughs> Glad to have you guys along for the ride with this one. Here we go. I'm definitely going to bounce, but will they? Only one way to find out. Come on, fellas. <laughs> well, one of them didn't, but this guy is currently having the time of his life. He wants to go again. Um, sorry, I'm just going to have to pick up the remains of your friend. And then let's lead you over to where you're going to make your home. Here's the other guy I brought through just now. So that takes our total of original Mushroom Island cows up to four, which should be more than enough to be getting on with for our own little colony here in the Democratic Republic of Mushroom. Right, enough waffling. Over to B-Rans. <laughs> 